गाइस एज यू नो दैट एंड्रॉइड फिफ्टीन बीटा वर्जन इज आउट नाउ वाइल इन द गूगल आईओ इवेंट इट वॉज नॉट टॉक अबाउट मच बट डोंट वरी इन दिस वीडियो वे वन बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द बेस्ट फीचर्स दैट आई फाउंड इन द एंड्रॉइड फिफ्टीन सो यू कैन नो वॉट टू ट्राई आउट फर्स्ट वेन इट अराइव ऑन योर एंड्रॉइड डिवाइस सो विदाउट फर्दर अडू लेट्स टॉक अबाउट ऑल ऑफ द फीचर्स बट बिफोर दैट फर्स्ट लेट्स हिट द इंट्रो So right now in the screen you can see that which of the devices are available for Android 15 so that they can be installed in the beta version. So check if your phone is there or not. If it's not there don't worry it will come out soon in September. All right now let's talk about the first feature that is the theft protection feature and this feature will keep you safe from muggers because most of the time we hear lots of reports of phone being stolen every day. And unfortunately I have been one of those guys as well. No, I did not steal the phone in fact my phone was stolen. So I understand the Pain. And to combat this, Google has introduced a new feature called Theft Detection Lock. And this feature uses AI to detect when your phone has been snatched by a thief. As this feature utilizes data from internal sensors like accelerometer and gyroscope. And if any theft is detected, your phone will automatically lock and it will ask you a PIN that you only know so that you can open it once again. And it can even be a PIN or biometrics. All right. On the second number, we have Private Space, which is basically a feature to keep those private apps hidden. This feature allows you to create a space space for the apps that you want hidden from the world and these apps won't be visible on the home screen app launcher or even anywhere else and even the notifications from then won't even come so to enable this on a compatible android 15 device that is running on a beta version just do this so since i have a pixel device with android 15 beta version on it so first let's go to settings and here scroll down and tap on security and privacy now scroll down a little bit more and here you will see the option of private space just tap on it and here verify add a pin and as you can see now you can use your existing screen lock or biometrics to safeguard the private space or even set a new password as there are many options you can set a lock you can install app so just tap on setup and now it's setting up private space and here tap on got it and here you can choose a new lock for private space for now i'm just going to use screen lock and now you can see it's all set to find my private space i have to go to the apps list and then i have to scroll down so in the app library if i scroll down and here you can see the option of private so just tap on it and just verify that it's you and now we have added into the private space and here i can add the apps that i don't want to see anywhere else so it's a pretty great feature and here if i tap on the plus icon google play store will be opened and i just have to sign in and then i can install all of the apps in my private space all right the third feature is app archiving that basically means that android 15 is making the app archive feature natively on the phone so this feature functions like uninstalling the app but still retains some of the data on the device so if you reinstall the app you can pick up right where you left off and the icon of the archived app turns gray and once you tap on it it will take you to the play store so that you can download the app and the new android version will also offer an option to automatically archive your apps whenever you don't need them or these are the apps that you don't often use so that you can save the storage space all right now on the fourth number we have the partial screen recording feature so screen recording has long been a part of android but with the android 15 it has got a useful new feature now you'll be able to share or record video instead of just recording the whole screen and this will save you from situations where you accidentally switch to an app that you didn't mean to record or let's just say you forgot to disable notifications and important notifications like otp and passwords keep on coming whenever you're recording in screen all right up next we have the webcam mode so android 15 has integrated a new high quality webcam mode whenever you start the usb webcam feature on a pixel device that basically means that whenever you will connect your google pixel device to a pc or a laptop then if you go to the notification bar and if you just tap on the icon that shows that the usb has been connected and if you scroll down you will see the webcam feature just select it and now open the camera app on your pc or laptop and with that you can use the camera of your pixel device as a webcam and with that you can enjoy high quality video chats with your family and friends now let's come to the next feature and that is 
the satellite connectivity support. As with Android 15, satellite connectivity feature has become a system level feature. Apps will be able to use APIs to detect whether the phone is connected to a satellite or Wi-Fi or your mobile network. And that will allow to adjust the data usage as well. And Android 15 satellite also supports SMS, MMS and RCS messaging services unlike Apple's one which just focuses on emergency features. Now this satellite connectivity feature is great but I'm not sure that will this feature come in India or not. And up next we have improved multitasking on large screen which basically means that on your phone you can now launch your apps quickly. Now this feature is mainly focused for large screen devices as they have more multitasking use but you can use it in your phone as well as you can now pin the taskbar to keep it always visible for quick app switching. And you can now save your favorite split screen app combinations with a new save app pair button in the recent menu. As tapping this button creates a new home screen shortcut which will open the split screen apps. I've already covered lots of great features but it's not the end as there are several other new minor features as well. For example, you can now save membership cards, movie cards or basically any type of cards in Google Wallet just with a photo. Having said that, these were all of the great features that I found to be interesting and I thought that you should also know about it. And as other beta versions of Android 15 will come, there will be other new features so stay tuned for that as well. But apart from this, if you have reached there, do let me know in the comment section that which one is your favorite and best feature in the android 15 and of course don't forget to like this video share this video with your friends and family and also subscribe to our channel that is geekified and with that i'll see you guys in the next video till then keep enjoying your life and let me also enjoy my life thank you